Animal Life Cycles by Joanne Mattern. This is a nonfiction book with the essential question, how do different animals change as they grow? Presented in three chapters. Let's begin. Chapter one, growing up a mammal. Animals change as they grow. How an animal changes as it grows is called its life cycle. Mammals are animals with fur or hair. They feed their young with milk from the mother's body. Cats, dogs, horses, and whales are mammals. Humans are mammals too. Young mammals cannot take care of themselves. Let's look at the life cycle of a mammal. You probably know. A cat. See newborn kittens, a mother cat with her kitten, and a cat that no longer needs its mother's milk. When kittens are born, they are small. Their eyes are, and ears are closed. A kitten needs its mother to stay alive. It drinks milk from its mother's body. At about two weeks old, the kitten can see and hear. It still needs its mother for food and safety. At eight weeks old, the kitten is still small. It does not need its mother anymore, though. It can eat food instead of its mother's milk. Now the kitten is able to live on its own. Chapter 2. Good Eggs Many animals hatch from eggs. Birds, fish, salamanders, and insects hatch from eggs. Let's look at a young duck or duckling. A duckling cannot swim or fly when it hatches. It is small and round and has soft baby feathers. The duckling needs its mother to keep it safe. Got a duckling hatching. And then there's the duckling. And there's an adult mallard duck with her ducklings. What an egg! The ostrich legs the biggest egg in the world. Its egg can weigh about three pounds. After a week, the duckling's body gets longer and bigger. New stiff feathers replace soft ones. These new feathers will help the duck fly. When a duck is eight weeks old, it can swim and fly. It is all grown up and it no longer needs its mother to stay safe. Chapter three, really big changes. Cats, ducks, and people change as they grow. The biggest change is in their size. Other animals go through a bigger change called metamorphosis. Metamorphosis changes an animal's body in a big way. Here we see a butterfly egg, newly hatched larva, an older larva, a caterpillar. A butterfly is an insect. It lays tiny eggs. When an egg hatches, a tiny caterpillar comes out. The caterpillar is called a larva. A larva is the first stage of a butterfly's life cycle. A caterpillar does not look like a butterfly. It has legs, but it does not have wings. The caterpillar eats all day long. As it eats, it grows. Only the inside of its body grows. Its skin does not grow. Soon the caterpillar's skin is too small. The skin splits open and the caterpillar crawls out. It now has a shiny new skin. The caterpillar can shed its skin four times. When the caterpillar is grown, it finds a safe spot. There it hangs upside down. A hard shell forms around its body. The shell is called a chrysalis. A few weeks later, the chrysalis breaks open. An insect with wings crawls out. The insect has a long tongue instead of jaws. The caterpillar has changed into a butterfly. A butterfly uses its tongue like a straw. It sips a sweet liquid from flowers. Soon the female butterfly lays eggs on the bottom of a leaf. When the eggs hatch, the life cycle begins again. It's a picture of the chrysalis forming and then the chrysalis, the butterfly about to come out of the chrysalis and then an adult butterfly on a flower. From water to land. A salamander also goes through metamorphosis. First it hatches from an egg, then it starts life as a larva. A salamander is not an insect though. It is an amphibian. An amphibian is an animal that lives part of its life in water and part of its life on land. A salamander larva lives in water and has gills. These gills let the salamander breathe underwater. A salamander lives in water for about three months. During this time it eats and grows larger. The salamander's body changes in the summer. It loses its gills and grows lungs to breathe air. Now the salamander moves onto land. The next spring, both male and female salamanders return to the pond where they were born. 
The females lay their eggs in the water. The cycle begins again. Every animal has a life cycle. The next time you see a newborn animal, remember that a new life cycle has just begun. The pictures show the salamander eggs, the salamander larva, a young salamander, and an adult salamander.